we will jump to our, our last uh, 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 panel, uh, which will uh, focus, uh, which will focus on uh, the uh, convergence uh, between uh, ESG um, uh, investment uh, and uh, Sharia uh, compliance. And so maybe we were also on that point uh, quite in advance in, in, in the region, and we're going to look into this in our uh, uh, final um, uh, panel. Uh, the panel will be moderated by Maître Aurélien Ola, from, a partner from CMS uh, Luxembourg. And we're privileged to have with us today uh, uh, Dr. Mohamed Ariani, uh, Director, uh, Development Effectiveness Department from uh, ICD, Islamic Corporation for the Development of the Private Sector, part of the Islamic Development Bank Group. Uh, Maître Aurélien, I, I leave the floor to you and, and let you take over from there. Yes, sure. <clears throat> With pleasure. Thanks a lot, uh, Khaled, for um, for this introduction, and um, and good morning, everyone. Um, so, as as you introduced myself, Khaled, I'm, I'm Aurélien Ola. I'm the head of uh, the investment funds department at, at CMS Luxembourg, uh, CMS being a global uh, law firm, and I am actually very pleased uh, to to be with you to discuss. Uh, interesting topic on the convergence on Sharia compliant and ESG investments. And it's true that it's, uh, I think I, we heard many things uh, this morning around um, uh, ESG investments and, and the various trends, uh, but it's true that to try to, to, um, to look at the similarities between Sharia compliant and ESG is uh, quite a fascinating topic. Um, I'm delighted to introduce you to uh, Dr. Mohamed uh, Aliami. Uh, as you introduced Khalid, the Director of the Development Effectiveness Department of the Islamic Corporation for the Development of the Private Sector, so ICD, who uh, will be sharing this panel with me. Um, ICD is the private sector arm of the Islamic Development Bank Group. So, Dr. Aliami, uh, welcome to this session. Thank you very much. Um, so, Sharia compliance and, and ESG investing are complementary investment approach uh, with many shared principles. Um, I think they were kind of working in, 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 in silos uh, with uh, cultural and religious uh, differences uh, that, that separated them, uh, but that doesn't hide uh, the strong similarities uh, between the two, the two approach. And although they will remain separate investment approaches, Shia compliant and ESG investments are, are converging. Uh, this is not surprising, uh, given the origins of each investment approach and their common underlying principles, um, driven recently by an increased awareness around uh, social and environmental issues, uh, which are likely to continue to be key drivers uh, for, for the future. Um, this is also driven by the implementation of a strong ESG regulatory framework in the European Union. And we have been uh, uh, hearing earlier uh, this morning on uh, uh, SFDR, on, on, on taxonomy, which are recent uh, ESG frameworks uh, uh, implemented in the European Union. Um, they are fairly recent. Uh, the uh, SFDR is uh, from 2021 and the taxonomy is uh, actually implemented and enforceable since the beginning of the year. Um, those are two regulations uh, which increase the transparency uh, regarding the level of sustainability of an economic activity or underlying investments uh, of funds or any other financial institution. And by increasing uh, reporting of non-financial criteria of economic activities and investments, the Euro European regulations shape the market so that the investors can make their investment decisions, not only based on the financial return, but also on the environmental or social impact that investment can have. Um, and basically, uh, that explains uh, why as well the, um, the topic of today is really uh, uh, to the point and timely, uh, and why ESG is also uh, booming, because part of the, and that was discussed before, you know, part of that booming uh, uh, um, topic is also because uh, uh, market players had to comply uh, with ESG criteria uh, 
in a way to accommodate as well investors' appetite uh, for ESG products. And we see what's very interesting, uh, and I'm not going to be too technical here, but uh, <clears throat> we see that in the last quarter of 2021, about 57% uh, of flows uh, of new capital were captured in ESG focused funds. And half of the new launched funds were ESG, green or social funds in the European Union, which is a, as you can imagine, a major change. Um, and we expect that trend to, um, to, to continue. I, so that was more of an introduction, uh, Dr. Aliami, of course. Uh, I, I don't know if you have any view from the region of what is happening in Europe. That's not the key focus of, 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 of today's panel. So it's more, I don't know if you have any, it, it is something which you can notice uh, from 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 the Middle East that change in Europe, um, or it's more something yeah, that you look from far away and which is not uh, affecting so much the Sharia compliant uh, industry. Well, uh, th thank you very much. It's really a pleasure to be uh, to be with you today. Uh, before I, I uh, talk about this point, I just would like to make the you know the introduction about the very quickly about the ICD and, you know, uh, as a leading uh, development Islamic financial institution, the uh, our core mandate is really to promote the economic growth uh, through Islamic financing, uh, risk sharing and even supporting uh, activities while it's also tasked to contribute towards the sustainable development uh, of uh, our member country, so we're talking about 55 uh, member countries. Given uh, this mandate, the uh, ICD plays a critical role in reaching uh, the, uh, the sustainable development goals, which in turn mean that uh, it must be uh, also included the, uh, the, SDG, the ESG, the Environmental, Social and Governance, and the, uh, in, in the invest, investing approaches. Uh, integrating the, the SDG factors into the investment strategy is uh, a concrete way of ensuring sustainable finance governance uh, which will uh, be used to manage overall risks uh, of the uh, of the investments. Now, if the uh, for the Islamic finance and ESG uh, uh, to to begin with, uh, both share sets, as you said uh, some uh, common values and goals. Uh, they both consider their uh, impact on societies and the uh, welfare of people and the uh, environment. Moreover, moreover, actually, both uh, seek uh, to avoid investing in businesses that might, you know, do harm, if I may say. Uh, there, uh, there are similarities between the two uh, systems, uh, but also there are some differences. So if I go back to your point of the, uh, of the uh, uh, MENA region, uh, the, the, the figures that you just uh, uh, bring up, uh, which is the last uh, quarter of 2021, 57% uh, and, you know, 40% investment ESG. It's it's also similar here. I mean, we have, I, I don't have the figures, but for sure from, from the meetings, from the discussions, from the investments, we have huge focus and great interest in this, uh, in this you know, area. Uh, January 2020, we held uh, one of the first uh, impact investing round table was in Dubai and it was organized by ICD and IFC where we invite you know, uh, investors and fund managers to the table and discuss the ESG and there was a huge interest. Uh, what will make this a must is I think I, the point that you mentioned uh, now the financial institution will be rated against the ESG practice. So uh, Moody's, Fitch, uh, other uh, rating agencies started really to, to rate financial performance alongside with the ESG. They are using now, you know, the traffic light for now, but I'm sure at the end of the, you know, within, I would say maybe two years, that will be really impacting uh, the, uh, the, the rating of financial institutions. That's really, I mean, we cannot separate ESG or even SDGs from the Sharia, from Islamic finance. It's really uh, interconnected. There is a huge link between the, uh, the two. There is a high correlation. 
but also there are some differences which is you know the normal of the uh, of the of doing business so i hope this uh, introductory uh, remarks make uh, set the stage maybe for the uh, next question yeah no, no that, that's uh, that's very very interesting and actually um i was thinking when when you were uh, uh, mentioning that that actually we could say that all Shia compliant products are ESG, but not all ESG products are Shia compliant. But yeah. basically, yeah, yeah, no, that's, uh, that, yeah. That, that, that's very interesting to see that we have the trends uh, um, going as well in, in, in the region, as well as, as I said, in Europe, which is such a game changer. And, I, and, and, and in that panel, if you agree, I wanted to go maybe more into you know, the specificities and what are probably the similarities between um, between ESG products and, and, and Shia compliant products. And I think, you know, um, when we think of them being complementary, uh, we are thinking as well on, on ethical investments and, and in integration of non-financial criteria in the investment process. Um, when we talk, when we think of ESG investing, uh, it's, uh, it's an approach to uh, managing assets uh, that has been discussed uh, in, the, in the previous panel, where investors explicitly incorporate environmental, social, and governance factors in their investment decisions, with the long-term uh, the long-term return of an investment portfolio in mind. And of course, you know it's going with purpose and profit at the same time. Um, ESG investing recognizes the investments may have both positive and negative impact on the society and the environment. I think that's a fundamental new dimension, basically of of the uh, asset management industry in general. Um, ESG investments promote, for instance, sustainable and fair society and environment uh, by investing uh, in renewable energy projects, reforestation, uh, uh, microfinance, affordable housing, affordable education, and, and, and the like. Uh, as you know, uh, pointed out in the introduction, we understand as well that Shia investments have also a strong focus on positive impact on society and avoiding any activity that could be deemed harmful to, to people and the environment. Would you be able to, to tell us a bit more on that ethical uh, characteristic of, of, of Shia uh, uh, investment? Yeah, sure. Uh, as, as, you, as you said, you know, both systems have uh, uh, religious or ethical uh, roots. So for example, uh, you know, the origin of Western responsible finance, uh, including the ESG, can be, you know, uh, tracked back to the uh, uh, socially responsible investing. That's, that's uh, I think, I would say a long ago. You know, however, the, uh, the socially responsible investing in general and the ESG in particular are becoming increasing, increasingly, I know, uh, uh, secular and more uh, aligned uh, nowadays with the social uh, liberalism. Well, on the other hand, the Islamic finance uh, remained loyal to, the, to its... Uh, uh, religious uh, roots and origins, and by the way, some of the uh, some of the thoughts I'm sharing now is is, is my own, uh, you know, thoughts. Uh, it's not the uh, the ICD, ICD uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, opinion. Uh, uh, the, the Islamic finance, uh, both you know, promoting uh, ethical and moral values. You 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 just mentioned uh, a good list of you know uh, moral things, starting from you know doing no harm being inclusive to the, uh, uh, to the social and to the environment. Uh, however, you know, the, the, the conventional uh, ESG can be more uh, selective in its approach uh, to ethical, while the Islamic finance uh, places, you know, the greater consideration to the ethical and moral uh, consideration. Uh, consideration. The uh, uh, one, one uh, point, again, related to, to, to ethics, you know, Islam uh, has been there for, uh, uh, you know, uh, 400 uh, years and the Islamic principle is the same since day one until today. So it's, it's you know, fixed uh, uh, ethical standards. ESG is coming to the same, I would say, direction because the, 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 the main purpose of the ESG is to protect the environment and to protect human rights, to, you know, prosper uh, societies. So the similarities are really more than, than, the, uh, than the differences. 
before we, uh, we, we, we hear this ESG phrase, the practice itself was there even from before, even in the conventional you know, uh, banking and finance. There was intention from many corporations, from many financial institutions to do no harm to, to environment, mm -hmm. okay? But the label was not there. I think I would also say the same for these uh, sustainable development goals. It was launched in 2015, but if you look to the practice of, for instance, ICD mm -hmm. since 1999, it's all about SDGs. And I mean this, I mean, the, the, the records, the results, the practice show that, you know, we were applying uh, SDG all the way. And also the, uh, if we are applying these, uh, the Islamic finance, that means we are uh, applying the ESG. And, and that's very interesting. And I, I, it makes me think, you know, uh, one thing people now, the industry is struggling with uh, talking about ESG, and that has been touched by as well in the president panel quickly is about, you know, impact measurement, uh, how you measure the no harm, how you measure the good you are uh, basically uh, uh, having with your with your investment, and 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 to measure, people would say you need data. So how you collect data, and those are all you know, uh, I would say big big things, uh, uh, big topic in the uh, impact industry since uh, decades now in uh, uh, in Europe, but are now um, um, a topic of, of, of mainstream topics because of the ESG trend in Europe, notably uh, all everything around that. Is it something, for instance, you um, you have been, I guess, so then dealing with with your own product because you have not been waiting for, uh, as you said, you know, uh, the SDGs, uh, it's nothing new to you. Of course, now you have the label, but you have been performing already those type of, of, of investment. What, what's your maybe experience or takeaway on, on measuring uh, the impact of, you know, Shia compliant investment? And do you see similarities with how uh, things are being tackled on the ESG side uh, today? Well, so, uh, I, I cannot wear, wear uh, two hats here. It's, you know, when I, when I say ICD, it's, you know, uh, a multilateral development institutions that yeah. have, you know, uh, partnership with all the, you know, uh, main players uh, around the globe. We are, uh, we have investments from all the way from, you know, South uh, uh, America all the way to, to, the, to the far, I don't know if I think it's far east, so all the way to... Uh, India, I mean, Bangladesh and, and the uh, Kazakhstan, Far East. So we really don't, don't try to, to distinguish uh, that we are doing financial, you know, Islamic finance, because this is, you know, the DNA of, of, of ICD. Yeah. When it comes to measuring our work, we have a very comprehensive, uh, sophisticated uh, monitoring and evaluation systems that has been there for many years. Uh, we have uh, the ex ante exposed uh, uh, tools that we are using to assess the development impact of ICD and all different type of, of products, talking about line of finance, and talking about you know, direct equity, even for the advisory technical assistance. We have the system that would help us to, first of all, set the baseline then evaluate against that baseline. Uh, that will include the ESG practice, will include the, uh, the, 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 the SDGs, that will include the climate change, anything related to this particular product or I mean pro project that we are uh, implementing in ground will be, will, be, will be evaluated. We are among uh, several uh, global networks, uh, including again uh, the uh, the IFC, the Asian Development Bank, the KFW, you name it, uh, all those players. We are in a very close, first of all, communication, then uh, a, a, a partnership to, you know, exchange the tools and mechanism. One of the best I, I really would like to mention here is the HIPSO, the Harmonized Indicator for the Private Sector Operations Network. Uh, 
we are 26, you know, uh, uh, organization where we set the indicators that will will be, you know, uh, the 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 uh, the metrics and parameters to assess our impact. So so yeah, of course we we have we have the system. Uh, we are always improving. We have an annual development effectiveness report that we publish uh, every year since 2014. It's public. Uh, you can check that online where we really put our, not only financials, but non-financial, you know, uh, achievements. Well, that's, that, that, that's very impressive. And I would say, actually, uh, um, how do you, well, because I have the feeling that if you are a Shia compliant institution, financial institution, basically, you are one step ahead of uh, what is uh, happening today. You are like a bit the anchor impact investors, anchor impact players, you know, which were already doing uh, social and, or environmentally uh, focused investments uh, already 20, 30 years ago, even as you said, <laughs> a, a, a lot longer before. So basically um, you have already implemented, you have already processes which can be considered a bit as a state of the art uh, for many, you know, players which have, we are now in the adaptation phase, which were more mainstream uh, asset managers without consideration for ESG and which are, for instance, in Europe, but, you know, globally as well, adapting their processes um, uh, to, to ESG. Do you see um, an opportunity here? Do you see that, for instance, you can leverage on your, uh, you know, uh, Shia compliant uh, uh, expertise uh, to basically um, master as well the market and maybe uh, uh, um, potentially attract a new type of, 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 of investors uh, linked to that ESG trend? Or do you, do you still think that even if there are convergence, similarities, um, Shia compliant and, and purely ESG impact will remain separated uh, because of notably uh, the religious uh, uh, origin and, and context of one versus the other. I, I don't know if you, if you have a, a well, view on that. Let me just rephrase what you said, just to make sure that I understand you. Are, are you talking about, uh, are you saying that uh, ESG and Islamic uh, principle can be one or it's always need to be separated? Did I get this uh, right? Or uh, yes, I, I, I'm trying to say that because there is this trend now in Europe and and, and globally for investors, uh, for market participants to look for ESG. Do you think that because they are looking for ESG, they may as well be looking for Shia compliant, or consider that a Shia compliant product would be as well eligible for for them as another ESG impact investing product or do you think uh, you know if you are let's say a european uh, impact investor or institution looking for investments you're looking for esg investments you will still not consider shia compliant investment as maybe being in, in your investment universe because it's shia compliant of course it's esg but it's shia compliant so that an investor will still make a difference so i w when i'm saying converging uh, I would say that we see that as a matter of, of processes, principles, uh, ESG is converging with, let's say, Shia compliant products. But my, my, my question is more, do you think they will still continue to uh, um, develop in their own universe? Or do you think they can really merge and give new opportunities as well to Shia compliant products to develop? Well, this is a very, uh, very tough question. Although, yeah, no, I, yeah, sorry for although, although I have, although I have my own own view on this, but it's really, it's really, uh, it's really a tough question because, uh, of course, uh, I, I see myself as you know uh, an optimistic person. But uh, if we go to reality, uh, what you are just proposing is is a bit difficult. We have many obstacles for the uh, for the uh, Islamic finance be it you know the regulations in countries that are not practicing islamic finance that's that will hinder you know even the interested investors to invest in 
in any Islamic uh, financial instrument because there is no ground for that, uh, you know, uh, uh, practice. There is no regulations, and maybe, maybe there is no, there isn't, there is no enough awareness from even the end users. Uh, having said that, the ESG is ca can stand can stand by itself. You know, uh, we have we have a detailed you know uh, standards for ESG. Although I would say I would say there is no agreed upon definition for the ESG until now. This is my this is my this is my reading. There is no specific set of principles that you need to apply. Of course, there are you know uh, there are three main dimensions, and there, underneath these there are maybe twelve pillars. But that's not the uh, that's not the the case everywhere. But again, it's 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 uh, it's it's good enough for investors to, I mean, dive in and have a great investments. Uh, uh, adhering to the ESG without being an Islamic, you know, uh, product. So, yeah, it's 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 a good it's a good you know uh, principle to have. Uh, uh, using an Islamic instrument would make it much much easier. Would make it straightforward investment. There should be no doubt. But regulations, awareness, uh, yeah. you know, expansion is not there yet for the Islamic. Uh, Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, very interesting, and, and and thank you for your your honest reply. I I, I recognize it was a, a tough one, and it, it was not in the script, and I, neither. But it's just, I uh, you know, in the discussion, I, I think it's you know but, just for me. Can uh, you speak uh, speak a bit louder if you don't mind? Yeah, of course. Sorry, sorry. Can you hear me better? Is it better? It is better. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, but thanks again for. Um, for indeed uh, uh, answering this one, it's a tough one, but at the same time, you know, it's a bit at the core as well of of this discussion on you know ESG mega trend and how potentially Shia compliant products could benefit as well more globally from that uh, uh, ESG trend. Um, I think we were focusing on on similarities, you know, uh, so we said ethical investment. Uh, integration of non-financial criteria. I think what was something which is uh, key as well in, um, in ESG and in uh, Sharia compliant uh, products are uh, the, the uh, screening process. So in ESG investors and asset managers are mostly achieving their ethical objective by screening negatively certain strategies or activities harming the, or, or the environment or the society. And for instance, an ESG-focused fund may not invest in companies that produce toxic materials for people or the environment, or companies violating international human rights, or more generally, companies with poor or no ESG rating. Although negative screening remains the main technique used to integrate ESG factors in the investment decision, um, ESG investing uses other techniques, you know, such as best in class, which will be more positive screening or ESG integration, uh, um, which is, I think, uh, the new trend is that really uh, ESG factors are being integrated in the investment strategy and not only through a positive or a negative screening. Um, what is the approach in a Shia compliant fund? Would you have as well, or Shia compliant product, would you have as well similar techniques of uh, positive, negative screening, and or you know ESG integration into the investment strategy. Is it? Do you see here as well a lot of similarities, or are there some some differences? Well, uh, of course, we have uh, a very detailed uh, screening mechanism for our investments, and uh, I would agree that it's good to start with you know negative screening by making sure first there is no negativity, there is no harm, because if you have any of these issue, then the deal will not pass. This is the first screening. Then you go to the positive screening. Uh, uh, at ICD, what we are doing again is going for uh, 
a very you know detailed investments you know uh, committee processes where we have as i told you before the uh, ex ante exposed uh, yeah. evaluation so the ex ante is really uh, is really a screening you know mechanism where we have a good list of uh, check checklist i would call it checklist that we would like to uh, to make sure that we have then we will have all the indicators i i, I mentioned before the hipso uh, which i would uh, name it again so it's the harmonized indicator for the uh, private sector operations the all these indicators are really being used as a screening to to uh, to tell the investment you know decision makers that you know based on the screening uh, there is either this negative you know impact or here is all the all the you know positive impact that we have that we would have on the uh, on the on the ground as as i as i told you uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the screening that we have is is, uh, uh, is is comprehensive esg also has a very good screening but again i think the issue with the esg might be the uh, the uh, the definition the criteria the standard that hasn't been yet you know fixed uh, across across the world i would say yeah no I, I, and that's true i think in in europe for instance and in, in luxembourg in particular definition is now at the key is is, is a key consideration uh, and uh, with the taxonomy which is the uh, european uh, uh, framework the intention is really to go further into defining the terms what are behind social, what are behind notably environmental for the taxonomy, um, and what are the indicators which would tell you whether you are, you know, compliant or uh, doing an environmental investment or sustainable investment in the environment. So those things are indeed getting clarified, but uh, of course uh, depend on the region of the world. Uh, and uh, depends on how a manager will apprehend its own um, integration of the ESG criteria in the investment strategy. So I, I, I fully agree that this is something which will, uh, it's still uh, moving quite a lot from one uh, region or, and the other. Um, I wanted maybe to touch base on, on another key trend uh, we see uh, uh, worldwide is, you know, um, all what is linked to green, green bonds, you know, sustainable bonds, social bonds, so uh, issuing uh, um, instruments uh, which have a specific uh, um, ESG focus. Um, I wanted to ask you whether on the Islamic finance side, you also see a similar trend like green sukuk or uh, uh, other uh, um, um, typical uh, uh, Islamic finance instruments which are being as well uh, uh, labeled uh, uh, green, or you don't see really that uh, similar trend. No, it's absolutely there. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, the, the green spoke now is is is, uh, is one of the uh, interesting topics uh, among the uh, the investors. So uh, uh, the uh, we actually, I think, uh, we are starting now thinking about uh, the, the the blue spook, and I mean this. It's not just. Uh, so, so green sukuk is there. It's it's of course similar to the uh, to the to the green bonds. Uh, social sukuk will be there, which is similar to, you know, uh, social bonds. All the difference is, is the is the uh, the uh, ingredients of the instruments. Yeah. So we have been investing. We have been actually uh, issuing sukuk uh, for a few years. Uh, last year we had a good you know achievement in sukuk. Uh, I think uh, we issue uh, in, 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 in Senegal, in Maldives, uh, in Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's, it's not it's not maybe all of them are green scoop, but of course green scoop is one of the uh, one of the interesting you know instruments for now. And, and as I told you, we are really thinking to move uh, also to the uh, to the blue blue uh, scoop. Okay, very interesting. Thank you very much for that. Um, I think another point. Um, I, I, I wanted to touch base today is about you know the evolution of the regulation, and I think maybe I already have uh, a bit of my answer because you said you know uh, 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 for the Sharia compliant uh, products 
the rules are being set are the same since the origin, uh, which is obviously not the same for for ESG in general. So I, I, I touch base on the fact that you know for for ESG product in Europe, but in other regions of the world, um, there are now a regulation on disclosures on on aligning on taxonomy key on, on common set of definitions um, on, on 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 indicators and and, and you know a, a number of, of of characteristics is there as well a, a similar uh, uh, movement uh, in the uh, MNA region so uh, uh, regarding potentially increased regulation uh, from uh, uh, the financial authority uh, on uh, Shia compliant product, or is it not something you you noticed really, as you could see in other regions of the world regarding to ESG, where things become more sophisticated, more 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 strict? No, I think I think uh, uh, well, uh, I'm not I'm not an expert in the in the uh, in the uh, Sharia, you know, uh, respect per se. But I wouldn't really, uh, when I look to this, when I would like to address this question, I wouldn't really look to the GCC or the MENA region uh, uh, economy or market because the Islamic principle are there, you know, I mean, I mean Islamic finance is there from, from a very long time, despite the fact that it's not at the same level. But it's it's there. I would I would rather look to to other countries where we, uh, uh, our member countries again, uh, fifty five, we had uh, cases where Islamic finance was not there, almost at at all, and now we we worked with the government to to some extent with the central banks. Now we have uh, regulations related to the Islamic finance. We have converted banks from completely, you know, conventional to Islamic. We have open, you know, Islamic windows and many banks in many countries that have no regulation before. So it's, it's a journey. It's a very long one. It's a very challenging one. But we, we see, we saw uh, cooperation from, from governments, from central banks, from even other MDBs that, that you know, Will would like to bring us to some mega projects, and they know we are dealing with Islamic finance. So, so that's there. MENA region uh, wise, I think it's uh, it's uh, it's a stable and, and developed market, uh, mm -hmm. Islam Islamic market uh, wise. I hope that address. Uh, no, no, yes, indeed. No, no. Thank you very much. I think um, uh, honestly, on my side, I have the feeling I basically asked uh, the, the questions I, I wanted. So I don't know if you have something I haven't asked uh, you wanted maybe to share uh, with, uh, with the audience today. Um, uh, not, not, nothing really, uh, nothing in, in, in top of, of, of my head now, but I think the, uh, the, the future uh, uh, development for the EST is, is, is now you know, greatly influenced by the uh, ESG rating, uh, but again, the ambiguity around the ESG uh, represents a challenge for decision making makers uh, trying to, you know, contribute to the uh, environmental, sustainable, and social uh, just economy. Uh, labeling the uh, ESG with Islamic, you know, uh, finance instruments. Not only labeling, but I mean, I mean, incorporating that along together will really make this, you know, uh, uh, will make the execution of uh, ESG investments uh, much, I would say, uh, straightforward, much easier, despite all the, the challenges that we, we were talking about uh, through through the session. Yeah, and, and, and actually I, was, I wanted as well to open um, the floor to questions and we received one about what are the new regulations in Europe around Shia compliant funds? Um, and actually, uh, uh, the, 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 all the regulation I'm aware of, they are around ESG. So as I mentioned, SFDR, uh, taxonomy, but I'm not uh, aware of a recent uh, um, uh, regulation around Shia compliance uh, in, in, in Europe. So um, that's uh, my, my take. Um, 
I don't know the regulation in all countries, but at least not at European uh, uh, level uh, globally. Yeah. So I don't know if um, if we have any other any other questions. Uh, otherwise, I I just have to thank you uh, uh, warmly for. Um, uh, taking the time to address uh, those those questions and uh, and they were not scripted so I, I thank you even more <laughs> to, uh, to 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 give your your opinion on that um, I I see how we have another okay no I think that's uh, that's uh, an answer so um, so we are we are done actually I don't know uh, Khaled if you have uh, any uh, uh, last uh, comment to make. Uh, no, I mean, I, I just uh, had one comment is to thank you all for taking part. Uh, it was a very uh, interesting and engaging uh, uh, session. Uh, and it's good to see that the dynamics are still moving. And on both sides, I think that uh, there is complementarity. And there might be, when you come to certain uh, type of investor, also competition, I would say, which is a positive point, which pushes uh, the, the agenda of ethical investing at the end, which is, you know, things, something that was a, a core base of uh, um, Sharia compliant and now is moving forward with the ESG. So uh, I, I thank you all for, for participating and um, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll bring it in. Thank you, Khaled. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Matur. And this is, uh, this is really a good, a good format of, of you know, uh, session. I really enjoyed the, the conversation and the dynamic uh, of, of my uh, of my I mean uh, colleague here it wasn't you know uh, Q and A uh, it was really a type of you know discussion and he brought many good uh, information uh, many of them I'm not aware of so thank you very much I really enjoyed the uh, discussion. Thank you very Great. much, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Well, with we'll, uh, with this uh, concluding word, thank you, Dr. Riani, thank you, Metro Renia, and uh, we can uh, bring this uh, virtual event uh, to an end.